Warning, the following video is what happens when you watch and fall asleep to YouTube crafting videos. The good, the bad, and the soggy. Today I want to play with some junk and some not so much junk, just a variety of things and do some coloring. I've seen everybody talk about tea staining. Does it really work to coffee dye or tea stain things? And can I get it to be a color that is something I want to use? Or do I think it's going to actually hold up the test of time? I've got a few of these fabulous, uh, this is a pearl mist. And it I have used almost all of it because it's just been one of those fun, fun products. I think when I first got it, I do this. I tend to do this is when I first get it, then I'm everything is that. It was the same with the fancy scissors. Back in the day, I had all of the fancy scissors. But I've got some antique linen spray here from Tim Holtz. And I've got some water and some distress Let's see, what is it? Distress Stain Vintage Photo. So I'm just going to mix some of this around. I've got a little water here and a little spray bottle. I'm going to just start spraying and playing. So first I'm going to spray these things. And there was a little bit of hand sanitizer in this bottle before. So it is a little sedzy. They'll be super clean. Hopefully I won't choke. <coughs> but then again, I will. I'm going to spray this antique linen stuff and check on that. See what that color ends up being. Here is the, it's kind of, I've seen some Tim Holtz mica. And I'm going to put a little water in the bottom. I feel like I'm making a little recipe. Oh, now I'm washing stuff off. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what that looks like when it's all done. Putting a little of this vintage photo in the water. I'm going to flip it over and do it again. When we were little, we this was all we could do was kind of mix our paints and stuff. I think this probably brings back some of that childhood curiosity, what happens if. So then I'm just going to take each one out and set it on the the basically a cookie rack. A cookie cooling rack. Oh, let's see this. One of these little tiny bags. It kind of looks like a glycine bag, but it's just a paper sack. And that's really not doing anything. I've got a mica spray. This one is flickering candle and Iron Gate. I'm going to try. Oh, flickering candle. Look how bright that is. All right. What I don't want it to look like is, you know, a, a only a Halloween project. Let's see. Let's try this fabulous iron gate here. And maybe, maybe it's going to come out. How many times? Oh, something's coming out somewhere. But it isn't, it isn't coming from the sprayer. We're going to skip it. Instead, we will try Empty Tomb. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh yeah. Now it's kind of reminding me of a certain football team. A little black and yellow on there. And that may just be too ugly. Too ugly to deal with. Or it may be really cool. Who knows? Going back. Adding this vintage photo. And I've got some paint. Acrylic paint that I'm going to use as well. I can't even say what color it is because it says Kid Made Modern. I got to inherit as my kids started getting older and stopped being interested in certain crafts or certain projects that they once had just had to do. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. Doesn't that look like garbage? And maybe it is. I won't know till it's all done. But it just is fun to kind of do some spraying and playing. And we don't know what it's going to look like until it's done. That's what that's going to look like. It's too soft of a paper. Here's some rice paper. Yep, that one's going away. this on the rack and this is just a piece of tissue paper which may completely fall apart but we're gonna let it dry and see what it does all right we'll be back when this is all dry and see what we think of spraying and playing I wanted to show where I am drying these or how I am drying them. I just put them on this mat with a rack, but I've also laid some stuff out on the mat itself, and it looks pretty ugly right now, so we'll see if it's going to be okay or if there's anything that will be salvageable when we are done experimenting when this all dries. It's kind of like life. We have to go through a little bit of ugliness to transform ourselves. So let's see what happens with these beauties. Here are the results from the spray and play. They are all dry now. This is kind of fun. I wanted to kind of show how they turned out because I was feeling like it pretty much looked like garbage when I was doing it. And I thought, how can these ever turn out good? These are from where other things had laid on there while I was trying to dry them and I actually liked the the lines there it just was fun to see that too there are some vellum bags in here quite a few those turned out very rustic and have their own textures and lines to them that you just can't do any other way this has kind of a sheen from some of the mica sprays that we added in there this was one, I don't think I did this on camera, but it was just a Walmart uh, prescription baggie that I am going to use in a fun way. So I did a little mica spray on that. But I will say they do slightly remind me of when I was a kid and a big storm would come by mon during monsoon season and there would be 
Now, they don't recommend this. When I had kids, we didn't live in a spot where this could happen. But when I was a kid, we would sit on the curbs after a storm and all of the water would rush by. It'd be over curb high and you'd sit with your feet in there and and the trash that would float by this kind of reminded me of that is there anyone else who played in gutter rainwater as it was rushing by or is that just me here is another piece this is another piece of rice paper and I just love the texture that that came out with and it was just from spraying and dumping and mixing and swirling different colors of of dyes and a little bit of paint in there. This one came out pretty yellow looking, but it just looks aged. Perhaps a little bit like gutter trash floating by. Yeah, I was just tickled. I know if, if any other time in the past, I would have been worried that, you know, my stuff was ruined. That's it. But now it just looks like art. Look at all this art. Next time to do something fun.